Hello. My day's been all right. I haven't seen episode 9 of Shogun yet. Not yet. Thanks to Resub Premium and Gravity. Yeah, we're doing more Siege later. Thanks Resub Tyler. And the prime jams. Parasite the Gray is really good. I only saw the first episode, but the first episode was pretty decent. There's the prime OP. My day's been alright, haven't really done much today. He's a fire gift subs OP in the prime reality. Are you eating an orange? Am I eating an orange? Brother, I'm drinking out of a cup. How would I be eating an orange? Is it tier one Dreco? No, for some reason YouTube's not sending out stream notifications. Is what it is, though. This one I don't understand, because I haven't gone over the notification allotment YouTube allows, so this time it's just not doing it. But no, it's still on YouTube as well. I always simul stream. He's a prime sad. Do you keep up with Overwatch? Only their dog shit decisions. Who's Prime Celsius? I mean, the live action avatar is not terrible or anything, but it's. I don't know if it's necessarily worth watching. Just watch. You watch the cartoon. So I think you got the best possible experience. But it definitely could have been worth worse, worse. And yeah, I'm gonna do more siege later tonight. I'll just go over some shit for a little bit, and then some siege, same as last night. And yeah, I like Chipotle. Thanks, Reese of Nasty. You saw Aaron Rodgers going full Alex Jones? No, what's he doing? Remember he had that whole section about how he saw a UFO one night, which was fire. Aaron Rodgers says AIDS was created by the U.S. government in the 1980s. Huh. What do you know? Let me see some cloned. CTE at work. 
I don't know if he'd have CTE. He never really got sacked all that much from what I recall. He had a pretty strong offensive line for pretty much his entire career coddling him. I don't remember him taking too many big hits. Like, the biggest injury I can remember for Rodgers is when he fucking busted his own Achilles. Oh yeah, I saw that video of that woman that took her dead uncle to the bank for money. <laughs> that was a crazy video. I obviously can't pull it up on stream because it's a corpse. But she weakened at Bernie's, her uncle, <clears throat> brings his lifeless body in there and tries to like prop him up and is like, Uncle, hold this pin so you can sign for this $5,000 loan. I did not play the Sean White snowboarding game. I also have not seen The Expanse. Thanks for the resub, boss. No, what Hades 2 stuff did they reveal? Oh, they have a whole, Jesus, a three-hour technical test. Throughout uh, multiple attempts. I'm going to go ahead and go with this. This is like a lot. They need my aid. Let's see if I need this. So I can uh, see my base attacks are that way. I always appreciate when devs do something like this. It's even bigger and shinier. What's this? <laughs> Moly. He's a prime Venus. Yeah, we can check. Um, you know, uh, we we will discover a variety no, of resources since Melinoe is a is a witch. She will be looking for a variety of things that can aid in her craft uh, as she navigates these different environments. So this Moly here, um, I'm sure, will come into play. Uh, so you'll be checking your inventory for various hints on how to how to find these things and. Uh, and what not a fan of top-down slash tabletop games. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah, you've got a little dial. Did you not play the first Hades? It's so much more than just a top-down game. It's a very, very, very good game. Even if you don't like top-down, you'll probably like Hades. Pretty much everyone likes Hades. It's a very, very good game. It's this big uh, kind of binding circle that locks foes in place and lets her kind of control the flow of combat and take advantage of her uh, often superior range, uh, as an example. Um, otherwise, these uh, these whalers can be really, really uh, nasty to deal with. But uh, Melinoe has plenty of other tools for contending with them. Top-down uh, games are dated. We could, we could I kind of had that same take for a while until Hades, to be honest uh, with you. Down from long range Showed me that there's still a lot of creativity you can do with a top-down. There's even uh, uh, we're out of magic, so you'll see in the lower. But ordinarily, level, uh, I well, uh, ordinarily I used to agree with that. Zero out of fifty. Um, otherwise, we could use a powerful Omega cast to blow all these guys up, not just root them in place, but um, but kind of deal a great deal of damage. <laughs> Uh, Hades is overrated indie trash. What's the point of even highlighting that it's indie? Do you just have like a grudge against it? Are you just like a corpo dick sucker that only plays triple A or something? You can say it's overrated if you don't like it, but why highlight indie on it? Makes it sound like you only play whatever triple A slop gets fed to you. <clears throat> It's crazy someone actually did a Heat 25 run. Yeah, that was like six months ago. That's, that was crazy. I saw that um, video essay on it. We have a whole channel for Dungeons & Dragons called Skill Check. <clears throat>
What class do you play in D&D? Rogue. Well, Arcane Trickster. Hugh Fructose is my current character. It was fun, man. I love D&D. Thanks for using Black Sea. Yeah, I saw it, uh, Tiago. You check the updates for Godzilla Save the Earth Melee? No, but I did see they pumped one out. I haven't seen this new trailer. And yeah, I saw that one stake. I got whole ass machinimas for this mod. The fuck am I watching? Godzilla Save the Earth Melee is a mod for a Godzilla game to make it more, like, competitively viable. And it looks really fun. They have their own tournaments and everything. And they keep adding new Godzilla characters into it. So this is a trailer for Godzilla 2000 coming to it. <clears throat> Thanks to membership hand sanitizer. There you sit down. There he is, the boy! This is so adorable. Where can you get the game? Um, I think it's in the description. Oh no, it's in their Discord. Yeah, no, you, you have to get it through their Discord. Things are prime possum. There's a BB. Godzilla 2000. Oh, I got a voiceover artist on it, huh? Oh yeah, it's great, Saiyan. You'll love it. If you like their previous games, you'll love Hades. <laughs> it's so hype. When's their next tournament? I want to watch. No, it's a game. It's a it's a it's a mod. They have another trailer I missed. Where? Oh, for Orga. You're right. Let me see. I want to watch another tournament from them. Have they had one recently? Oh shit, it's a mod? Because I don't remember being able to do combos like that. No, no, like I said, they made it actually, like, competitive FGC type shit here. Look. It's really, <laughs> it's really pretty cool. Does the game have a large following? Seems extremely niche. It is very niche, but it does have a community. Like, I wouldn't say that it's popping or anything, but you'll definitely be able to play with people. So 
so Tekken. Yep, that's what I compared it to. It's very Tekken-esque. Because you do air juggles. And you kind of just... From what I can tell, you're looking to punish more than trying to start a combo. Like a membership, Ville. It's cool. It's very cool. Here's the prime walk and the resub, Brian. Zack Snyder wants to release at least six Rebel Moon movies. God bless. We'll be eating shit for years. Thanks, Zack. These are two gift subs, Ginger. You plan on trying out No Rest for the Wicked comes out tomorrow. Which one was that again? That's the top down game, right? That looks like Diablo. Just look. Wanted a very good time yep. to actually talk maybe wicked. Now this is sponsored, but I don't want to give the wrong impression. I agreed to be a partner for this game because it looked incredible. I do not believe it looks incredible because I agreed to be a partner for this game. Indeed, I have never vocally supported a product that I don't actually personally believe in in this way. But this one, yeah, I want to make sure it gets um, the attention I don't know if we do a deserves. hard liquor tier so, list. Thank you That'd to be Moon tough. Studios for inviting me to do so. And indeed, if you do like the look, if you do want to get living and combining it into a beautiful amalgamation, an ARPG a la Diablo, of uh, something like maybe uh, Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing, and combining it Animal Crossing. into a beautiful amalgamation that still very much strives on its own. Now, they call it an ARPG, and yet that is fair. The inventory system, equipment, stats, uh, setting up your character, it does feel kind of Diablo-y in that sense, but Ironically, I think calling lesson. it an RPG almost doesn't do it justice, almost works against it. Because when you hear <coughs> you think Diablo, Last Epoch, yep, Pad style, think. you think loot pouring everywhere, and it's all about your stats building up and down, it's builds and smashing through hordes of enemies, Herald but that's not really the case. For Hello. me, the ARPG comparison sort of stops when you close your inventory. Because the actual playing, well, that's where the souls comes in. You have stamina. You have weight to your attack. Maybe I'll try it. We'll decide tomorrow. Thanks, membership, Minx. So, Harold Halibut. Thanks to Tier 1. McDicky. <clears throat> nope. We... I mean, like I said, our Apex team will be able to play in the Major, just not as moist esports. So, they'll, they'll get into the country pretty soon, actually. But not as moist esports. Thanks for you some more in the Prime Kaz. Favorite band, still Deftones. What is this? See is it a point and click? Now I wish I'd never skip those lip reading classes. Die. This does not look like a game I'd enjoy. Thanks for your sub G4 and Gonzalez. What? Oh fuck. Professor, did you hear that strange message? It was hard to miss. It's the first message from Earth. I'll pass. Hmm. Yep, just talked about that lady that took her dead uncle to the bank for a loan. What are you drinking? Yeah, just a smoothie from Smoothie King.
Man, did everyone just see that video today of the lady taking the dead guy to the bank? I must be popping off because everyone's mentioning it. Yeah. I saw it. I'd pull it up on stream if I could, but I can't. It's a dead body. And War of the Monsters was a great game. That's a classic. I'm not sure what my favorite would be average. I have to really think about it. Actually, no, I wouldn't. Godzilla minus one. Not even close. <clears throat> That's my favorite. I recommend checking out one of the worst Godzilla movies ever made called All Monsters Attack. It's about a little boy who created an AI computer that lets his mind go into his dreams to see monsters fight. It's available on Max Streaming Services. Look up the Rotten Tomatoes score. I mean, that already sounds like dog shit. It's a 1969 movie. 18%. They thought of AI back in 1969. Don't tell Twitter. They're going to come up with new conspiracies. Like with the Red Hot Chili Peppers lyrics. <coughs> yeah, it's pretty bad, obese. Do you see the psychic Baba Vanga, who supposedly accurately predicted 9-11, who said World War III will be next month? Is that where we are in the world? Believing psychics? Let's look up Baba, Bob, Baba Vanga. She died in 1996. Membership, Tyler. Let me see that 9-11 prediction. Where is it? Let me be more specific. <laughs> I'm doing well, Strike. Okay, here. There's a red thread going over, like, the evidence, I suppose. <laughs> <clears throat> I randomly stumbled across an article on Baba Vanga, then watched a couple of videos, then did some Googling, and it's widely reported that she predicted 9-11 in 1989 with this quote, translated from Bulgarian. Horror, horror. The American brethren, brethren will fall after being attacked by the steel birds. The wolves will be howling in a bush, and innocent blood will be gushing. This is an insanely accurate prediction. The brethren being the Twin Towers, Steel Birds obviously being planes, and Bush referring to George W. Bush. <clears throat> I'm a very rational person. I don't believe in clairvoyance, ghosts, astrology, religion, etc. So naturally I started looking for evidence, and as expected, I cannot find any reference to this quote from before 2001, or from before the past 10 years, to be honest. Is there such evidence? I don't imagine there is, but since millions of people apparently take Baba Vanga seriously, I thought I would ask here before dismissing it as nonsense. Yep, that sounds about right. It's also interesting when it comes to, like, predictions, thanks Teresa Bross, how clearly Baba Vanga would be able to say planes and, like, say exactly what they were predicting, I would think. They wouldn't be using nondescript terms like Brethren, Steel Birds, and Bush. That's just absolute baloney that people throw together. Is this supposed to make it sound more mystical? You about the 69-year-old guy who drank at 120 bars in 24 hours to break the world record? I did not, but good for him. 
I've heard about Baba Vanga. She's allegedly predicted things like World War II, Chernobyl, and Barack Obama becoming president. World War II? What do you mean? <laughs> she predicted World War II? Why didn't she stop it? God damn it, Baba Vanga. It's a custom keyboard, cool. Ninety-nine percent of everything people say she predicted is completely made-up bullshit. Every time something major happens, headlines start popping up about Vanga having predicted it. The pandemic? Vanga predicted it. Russia, Ukraine? Vanga predicted it. The recent earthquake in Turkey? Vanga predicted. Did, did did she actually get credit for every single thing that happens? How did, what kind of deal did she make with that? And yeah, I've been keeping up the JoJo Siwa stuff loosely. She predicted the orifice. <laughs> yeah, that was her final prediction. Most terrifying of all, the flesh box. I appreciate it, Blitz. Hope you enjoy it. But uh, I'll tell you right now, I don't think Baba Vanga is the most trusted source for anything. But let me see her World War Three prediction, since apparently she made one of those, which I doubt. It's probably just people putting words in her mouth. Let's see. She died in 1996, by the way. Probably should have mentioned that. She was known as the Nostradamus no Jesus. She was known as the Nostradamus of the Balkans. She left behind predictions for every year up until 5079 when she said the world would end. What was her prediction for 2023? That's a lot of predictions to be making. Let's take a peek. One of the most alarming 2023 predictions attributed to Baba Vanga it concerns a solar storm which could have caused calamitous consequences. So that didn't, that didn't work. So that was a lie. Imagine, though. I mean, she gets credit for anything that does happen. So even though her prediction was wrong, she still got credit for something else that happened totally unrelated. So, I mean, she still wins. Is it prime code? No, I haven't tried again recently, H2O. You can actually find her predictions list by year. Google Baba Vanga prediction list by year. Okay. Is resub panda? Oops, wrong website. Oh wait, no, is it this one? From chemical.com? <clears throat> Next resub immertonk. Oh yeah, you're right, here we go. Let's see the Baba Vanga predictions. Uh, 2010, World War III. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> that was quick. So, she predicted World War Three in 2010 and 2024? Interesting. Uh, the war was supposed to begin on November 2010 and end in October 2014. 
Nuclear will be used initially and then chemical warfare. 2011, result of fallout, or as a result of the fallout in the Northern Hemisphere, there will not be any animals or vegetation. 2014, man, this is, what? 2023, she didn't even try very hard. <laughs> in 2023, her prediction was a little bit of change in the Earth's orbit. <laughs> Yeah, moderate. I don't know. Earth moved differently in 2023, I guess. And then 2025, yeah, Europe still settled, kind of, a little bit. She's so popular in the Balkans, my president quoted her once. Why? Why? She's just wrong about everything. Like, immediately. If people were following her predictions, the world would be in a state of disarray. Thinking a world war was happening in November of 2010, and that the nuclear fallout was going to kill every animal and plant. Thanks the membership foop. And there you said fisherman. In 2028, 2028, creating a new energy source, probably a controlled thermonuclear reaction. Hunger is gradually being overcome. And launched a manned spacecraft to Venus. How in the fuck will we go from pretty much no life left here and within 10 years have the ability to send a manned spacecraft to Venus and solve hunger? How the fuck does that work? And also, what would we accomplish on Venus? That's like one of the worst planets we could visit. Is you said red. Twenty forty three, the world economy is thriving. In Europe, Muslims rule. Twenty forty six, any bodies, organs can be manufactured, cloning, replacing the bodies is becoming one of the best methods of treatment. So she must have watched the movie The Island with Ewan McGregor and Scarlett Johansson. During the attack on the Muslim Rome, the United States used a new kind of weapon, the climate. The sharp cooling, instant freezing. And then 2076, we get a classless society, communism. 2084, nature is restored. In 2088, there's a new disease, aging for a few seconds. And then... 11 years later, rapid aging defeated. In, 20, in 2100, we get an artificial sun that illuminates the dark side of the... What the fuck is the dark side of the Earth? Thanks for the five gifted members, Foop. I appreciate that. And that's not a bad idea, Woody. Maybe I will. <laughs> the not bright side. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah, I forgot. There's a whole part of the Earth that's just never bright. It's perpetually dark. It never sees sunlight. We don't go over there. It's past the uh, the edge of the Earth with the ice caps. Thanks for the membership, Anthony. <clears throat> I want to, Anthony. Yeah, I want to be in Tekken. In 2111, people become living robots. Then there's a small war. Hungary gets signals from space. Then we get Atlantis. Somehow, in 2164, the animals turn half-human. That's... That's quite a plot. To, why, why would they do that? How would they do that? Do we do that to them? Yeah, I guess we finally get, like, cat girls. Okay, and then we get a new religion three years later. Probably in no small part because of the half-human animals that we've now got living in our world that sprung up out of nowhere. I imagine they probably started the new religion. Oh, it's called PDQ Kronos. Yeah, give it a whirl. I think it's great chicken. And we also just got a Dave's Hot Chicken, which is pretty fire, too. They're both worth checking out. And yeah, we just talked about that necromancer. Thanks, membership, Clyde. Drought, 
colony on Mars becomes a nuclear power and demands independence from Earth. When did so? When did we? She's leaving out crucial details. So now we have a colony on Mars that's demanding independence from Earth. At some point, I guess we abandoned Venus. Stop two volcanic eruptions. We now have a full functioning sea colony. Sun slowing thermonuclear processes, temperature drops. Humanity comes in contact with aliens. Something terrible. And 2256, a spacecraft forgotten, a Earth terrible new disease. I don't, that's, I don't know what that means. There's a membership, Richie, in the research science. Is this like world patch notes? No, it's a fucking Baba Vanga predictions, which apparently people really believe in, which is outrageous. Because she's just wrong about everything, clearly. She predicted World War Three in 2010, and yet people still give her credit for everything that happens on the planet, saying she predicted it. Thanks, membership douche. In 2271, restart physical constants are changed, so the laws of physics change. You're telling me, 200 years from now, the laws of physics are going to change. Why would they do that? <laughs> what the fuck? And then two years later, mixing yellow, white, and black races, new race. Wow, that's Jesus, Baba Vanga. I have not checked in a long time, Eduardo. I mean, I can look at it, though. Could be open to that, Lofman, perhaps. We'll see. Man, there's so many. We get time travel in 2288 and new contact with aliens. <clears throat> the sun cools and we're making attempts to light it again. That's actually the plot to a Courage the Cowardly Dog episode, when Courage, Eustace, and Muriel go to the sun and change its light bulb. There's a powerful, erupt powerful eruption on the sun, which changes the force of gravity. 2302, new important laws and secrets of the universe revealed. Don't know what those secrets are. And then there's the secret of the moon that we get shortly after there. Forty years later, there's something terrible approaching Earth. <laughs> what the fuck? This is so unreal that people take this seriously. So, 3797, all life on Earth is killed, but mankind lay the foundations for new life in another stellar system. Assuming she means solar system. But we already have other planets that we've colonized. We've got Mars, apparently. We've got the power to artificially create suns. So uh, yeah, I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can make do. Thanks for tier one love. Thanks for five gifted members, Ma. Thirty-eight fifty-four. The development of civiliza civilization virtually stops, and people live flocks as beasts. But then we get a new prophet less than twenty years later that teaches us about religion, huh? And then a new church. What is this? Forty-three oh four. We found a way to win any disease. Due to mutation, people at last beginning to use their brains more than 34%. Wouldn't would, so we were stuck using 34% of our brain for how many hundreds of, or how many thousands of years? And 4509, we're getting to know God. The man has Fina. What is that? Is that like swag? The man has Riz? What is that? And why are we getting to know him now? He just said like, alright look guys, 4,000 years is enough to stay up here. What's going on? It's good to meet you.
No, I did not see that regrettable. Didn't they? Didn't she say that we have a time machine by now? Yeah, we had the time machine like a thousand years ago. We had a time machine in like 2271, I think. Oh no, that's when the laws of physics changed. It was 2288 that we got time travel. So I feel like all of these things could have easily been avoided, like the bad stuff, if we just time travel. She gave us an OP technology way too early. Forty-five ninety-nine, we achieve immortality. Forty-six seventy-four, development of civilization reaches its peak. The number of people living on different planets is about three hundred and forty billion. Assimilation begins with aliens. Fifty seventy-six, a boundary universe with it, no one knows. Fifty seventy-eight, the decision to leave the boundaries of the universe, while about forty percent of the population is against. We leave the boundaries of the universe. What's beyond the <laughs> beyond the boundaries of the universe? That's like an anime plot. That's some Gurren Lagann shit. What? We just decided to leave the boundaries of the universe? How could we just even make that decision? We go to the universe sequel, I guess. But then in 5079, it's the end of the world. Who gives a fuck? We have like a thousand worlds now. What are you talking about? We have so many planets. Who cares about the end of the world? That's small potatoes. I'm more curious about what we do when we leave the boundaries of the universe. That's DLC. Oh, yeah, perhaps. I swear a 14-year-old wrote this. No, it's a self-proclaimed psychic that gets credit for actually everything. Right now she gets credit for predicting 9-11, the pandemic. Um, what was the other one that we just mentioned? Oh, the earthquake, earthquake in Turkey... Um, and like a couple other huge ones. Oh, Obama becoming president? Yeah, it's ridiculous. I, th this, f <laughs> this fucking person is getting credit for everything that happens. I don't know who manages her estate, but they've struck an incredible deal for that reputation. <laughs> three out of 3,000, not bad. Well, the thing is, she also didn't even predict those things that she's getting credit for. They're not among her predictions. It's just people, for some reason, making it up on her behalf. It's very odd. What is this website? It's a website that chronicled her predictions by year. She made so fucking many that this one just compiled, like, most of them together, I suppose. But it's so weird, like, mainstream media plays into it as well. So, like, chilling predictions Baba Vanga made for 2024 that came, cr yeah, came true. The huge economic crisis. But she didn't do that. We just looked at her 2024 predictions. Well, there wasn't any. 2023, her prediction was the Earth orbit slightly changes. I still haven't seen Barry. I've just heard good things. Simpsons creators taking notes. Mm. Is the Silk Song release date on there? Oh yeah, did she predict the, the final release date for the new Hollow Knight game? That's a good question, let me check. Baba Vanga would know. Twenty three nineteen final chapter of One Piece drops. Uh, I don't see anything for 2024 anywhere. Just what people are saying she said, even though nothing <laughs> nothing concrete says she ever said any of this. I think she's just kind of become this figure that the media can draw on. Like, 
Oh, Baba Vanga says this. Gotta be careful, stay afraid. Thanks to the Prime Peabody. No, I haven't kept up with Pokemon Go shit in years. This was interesting. I'd never even heard of this name before. What an odd little rabbit hole. I thought it was great fooping. Yes, I'm excited for the next one. I also love how they talk about her in some of these articles. This one was uh, the end of 2023. Uh, we're heading towards the end of 2023, which means blind psychic or blind mystic Baba Vanga, who allegedly predicted 9/11 and even her own death. Man, everyone can predict their own death. Everyone's going to die. <laughs> like you know, it's coming. What she said? She said she's going to die at some point. Genius. Are they actually adding that pun? I haven't kept up. There's a membership, Louie. Do you think OJ's tweet saying he did it is real or fake? He made a whole book about how he did it. <clears throat> we actually just covered the entire OJ lore in the red thread today. I didn't realize just how poorly handled the prosecution had that case. It was unbelievable, the ineptitude. Sorry, I just keep looking at the Baba Vanga stuff. All right, we'll, we'll move on. They threw for content. Yeah, I don't know how how knowledgeable all of you are on the actual OJ trial. The prosecution has to be the worst in American legal system history. Holy shit, it's bad. One of the, like, cornerstones of their prosecution was Detective Furman. And he went on, like, while testifying, he was asked, have you ever said the N-word? Like, have you ever said the N-word? Multiple times. He's like, no. And if anyone ever says I said the N-word, they're a liar. And then they eventually had him back on, and he's caught on tape saying the N-word 41 times, and even says that they... Th this is in the tape. He says that they're, like, instructed to brutalize black people and plant evidence. And it's all on tape. So it immediately threw away everything Furman said and changed the entire landscape of that trial. And then, when they realized that he was fucking fumbling, they told him that he has the right to plead the fifth. So what he did is he would just say, I plead the fifth to everything. And the defense caught on to that, so what they did is they played into it very sneakily. Since he mentioned the planting evidence thing, they told him while he was doing this plead the fifth arc, they told they asked him, Did you is it possible you planted evidence at OJ Simpson's house? And he said, I plead the fifth. Which to any sensible person looks very guilty and suspicious. It's fucked. It was so fucked. They blew that case. I didn't know that. Like, I didn't know that whole part with Furman. But, oh my god. That guy was unbelievable. Thanks, membership moldy.
Yeah, Prosecution had the easiest W ever and completely fucked it. It was unreal. It was unreal. He's now a regular courtroom analyst on Fox News. No, Furman? No shot. No shot. You're making a joke. That has to be some kind of joke, right? I haven't looked into what Furman's doing in recent years, but there's no way. This is one of the dumbest men I've ever read about. Well, and he's also just like a racist piece of shit, too. On top of all of that, there's no way he would actually be some kind of, like, figure in any industry right now. This man had to have just disappeared. Is he said toxic? Let's see. I'm just on his Wikipedia. He wrote a book, of course he did. Oh my god. Furman is a forensic and crime scene expert for Fox News and has been a frequent guest of Fox commentator Sean Hannity. He was also the host of the Mark Furman show on KGA AM in Spokane. That's unbelievable. That is fucking crazy. Thanks for you some scary. I don't know if they changed the voice or not, Gareth. I couldn't tell you. And yeah, I know Keanu's voicing Shadow. Thanks, Resub Smokey. Wow. <laughs> wow. That blew my mind. That actually blew my mind. <clears throat> I'm unfamiliar with that story, Monty. I can look it into it, look into it though. One of the jury members said they knew OJ was guilty, but but said he was innocent as revenge for Rodney King. Yep, yeah, that video is also very infamous. Interesting, Taylor. The whole world knew OJ was guilty, but the handling of the case from the prosecution did no favors for it. It was the most mishandled case I've ever read about. It's unbelievable how fucking awful it was. They really blew it. Thanks, membership, Paul. Is it Prime Mountain Dew? Wasn't the glove bit stupid too? OJ barely tries to put the damn thing on. Even aside from all the obvious stuff with the glove, I didn't know this. The idea to put the glove on was actually the prosecution's. So what happened is Darden, who was on the prosecution side, wanted to have OJ put the glove on to show that it would be, he could wear the glove. And then I think it was Shapiro from the defense team. He went into the evidence room, which I would think would be a crime, and he himself tried the glove on and recognized that it kind of fit his hand, and his hands were noticeably smaller than OJ's. So he knew if they would actually go through with that idea of having him try on the glove, it wouldn't work. So he then, the defense team, like taunted Darden, prodded him into going through with that idea of having him try on the glove in front of the jury. And then he tries to put the glove on and he goes, too tight? And they're like, uh-oh, if the glove doesn't fit, you must acquit. It was actually the prosecution's blunder on that. And yeah, of course I've seen that, Rex. There's a popular theory OJ purposely didn't take his arthritis medication to swell up his hands so the glove wouldn't fit. 
I don't know that one. I think the the one that we were talking about on the red thread is the one that I think is the official declaration on it that the gloves were shrunk because of all of the blood on them. So it shrunk the fabric. But even then, it's not like it was way too tight for his hands or anything. It was just like marginally not able to fit. So the just like the shrinkage was enough. Hey, well, congratulations. I hope it continues well. I'm wishing you the best on your sobriety journey. Yeah, cra crazy, though. Absolutely crazy trial. The Red Thread episode will be up in a couple days. It was so much deeper than I knew about. Have you seen the souls like another crab's treasure? Mm -mm. Rated T for teen. It will be longer than usual. Yeah, it's like two and a half hours. Yep, of course I keep up with everything, Glorb. start doing new ones Dylan but no I don't I don't do that anymore like in general but I'll definitely check out the new episodes and maybe do something on it this does look pretty interesting is it out or when does it come out Need I remind you all how threatening the ocean is outside this reef? But it does I'll seem cute. My old life back. Perhaps we can work out a deal. <laughs> that church is as good as mine. I'm gonna get that treasure! Comes out next week. I might try it. I love Souls likes. I mean, that does look cute. Did you play Pikmin? I did not play Pikmin 4. That's awesome. Thank you for that, Volcanic. Appreciate it. All right, fuck, I'll finally look into the Red Lobster thing. Like, I just don't have a whole lot to say about Red Lobster. Like, I heard Red Lobster's going bankrupt, but I'm not really surprised, and I was never really a Red Lobster fan. Like, it's just very mediocre. I had it, like, me. I could probably count on one hand the amount of times I had Red, Lo Red Lobster in my life. The main reason I even think... Like, the only thing I think of when I hear Red Lobster is my fourth grade science teacher... Her name was Miss Valentine, and she loved Red Lobster. She'd always tell us about, like, the dinner she had there the night before. She went, like, every every night, basically, their best customer. I'm surprised they went bankrupt with her. She could have kept that whole company afloat by herself. Into the bits, J-Bear. Membership Rob. Fallout series was good. And hey, Adam. And no, uh, still working on it, Moses. Mm 
Okay, this is one of those articles I need to pay to read all of. Skyrocketing costs are driving up the price of cheeseburgers, and that's pushing some restaurant owners. I mean, the price of everything is fucking exploding. It sucks. Absolutely tragic. Red Lobster is reportedly considering filing for bankruptcy to relieve financial pressures that have weighed on the company. According to a report by Bloomberg, citing people familiar with the discussions, Red Lobster is weighing a Chapter 11 bankruptcy filing to renegotiate burdensome leases and address other long-term contracts, as well as ra rising labor costs. And yeah, I saw there's an emulator on the Apple Store, which is nice. There's a Prime Stinky. Seafood chain had a variety of owners and major investors since it was founded in 1968 by Bill Darden and Charles Woodsby. General Mills acquired the company in 1970. Where's the thing you mentioned that they lost the are actively losing 11 million dollars on endless shrimp? Is that like one of the main reasons why they're going bankrupt? Because of their endless shrimp offering? Because that I'd like to read about. Oh, fire. It was nice to meet you, Prod. I'll just look up the shrimp directly then, I guess. Okay. Red Lobster is considering bankruptcy partly due to $11 million loss from endless shrimp deal. This comes after Red Lobster reported a $12.5 million operating loss in the fourth quarter of 2023. Man, that endless shrimp will get you. I was hoping this had some more info on the shrimp itself. The restaurant chain announced that its first ever endless lobster experience would give 150 winners across the country the chance to enjoy a complimentary two-hour dinner of endless lobster. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Red Lobster has been known for its endless shrimp deal. The company made it a permanent menu option in June and increased the price from 20 to $25 as a result of losses. Shrimp must be super cheap for them to get. I remember when I used to be like a big shrimp eater when I was in high school. I used to be able to crush like 30 shrimp. I'd go crazy on them. Not at Red Lobster, but just like some good old fashioned public shrimp. Mmm. There's a Prime Galactic. The only guy who's happy about it is probably Nate Allen from the Eagles. He was accused of jerking off there once. <laughs> what? He was accused of jerking off at a Red Lobster? Jesus, that endless shrimp got people going loony. My oh my. Neon's out of jail. He went live today. He was in jail for like 36 hours. Said it was a great time. It was apparently false, but very strange. What a weird story to make up about an <laughs> about an athlete jerking off at a Red Lobster. Cool. Oh yeah, of course, Dylan. I love meat. I watch it all. Thanks, Resub Zed. Technical death metal is fun. And no, I haven't kept up with it, Kilo. I just know that there is a lawsuit about it. And thanks, Adam. You playing Siege tonight? Yes, I will be playing more Siege tonight.
Wasn't there an NBA player who got a lifetime ban recently? That happened today. That was um that was Porter. He was the guy who was gambling on his own games. They just announced today that Porter was going to be banned forever from the NBA, which is great. Like, I think the ban makes sense because if you're max, uh, Jesus, max fishing, if you're match fixing, that's unbelievably detrimental to the sport. I get that. But you have to keep in mind, the NBA still celebrates fucking Carl Malone, a legitimate pedophile who impregnated a like 12 year old. I can't remember how old she was, but a child. And they still bring Carl Malone like around. That's crazy, right? Like I get banning Porter, but can we also tackle people like Carl Malone too, perhaps? The NBA is like all over the place with their fucking priorities. He's an actual idiot, made $3 million playing in the, in the NBA and won 21 k gambling. So, uh, it, we'll, we'll dive into it a little bit. As I understand it with Porter, this is what started it. So, what you're referring to is what he actually made, but he did max... Why do I keep saying max fish? He did match, fit, match fix, try to, for a $1.1 million payday, as I understand it. So... The NBA investigation found that Porter revealed information about his own health to a known sports better ahead of a March 20th game against the Kings. Another better privy to the information placed an 80k same game parlay bet that featured unders on Porter's statistics and would win 1.1 million, according to the NBA. Porter played three minutes before leaving the game with an illness. The bet, which was placed at DraftKings, was not paid. So I think this was the plan to make bets of this caliber. I think, and I'm not super knowledgeable on how the, the betting works from this perspective, but I think this is what they were trying to do. But this one got frozen, so he didn't get paid out. What he did get paid out is this. The league investigation revealed Porter placed at least 13 bets on NBA games using an associate's online betting account. The bets ranged from $15 to $22,000, totaling $54.94, according to the league. The NBA said the total payout from these bets was $76,059 net, net winnings of $21,965. None of the bets involved any in which Porter played. Three of the bets were parlays, including one that included a bet on the Raptors to lose. That was his team. All three bets lost, according to the NBA. <clears throat> so he, got, he made $21,000 from these bets, but he was looking for things like this, the $1.1 million paydays. That's what he was aiming for, but this is what he accomplished. And now he's lost his whole career, and he had like a $3 million contract in the NBA. So, losing $3 million to make twenty-one grand probably not worth. Thanks, Resub Deanna. Ooh, sorry to hear that, Trent. Yeah, I didn't really eat it, Red Lobster. What a loser. Super stupid idea. It's like actually the plot to fucking Longest Yard to a certain degree. Again, this is what he was looking for. That kind of shit. You heard about the Florida man who pelted his roommate with pizza dough? No. And yeah, of course I'm still looking for my lost videos. No, I think you just got lucky then, Pete, because they're borderline unedible. Although I haven't, I haven't had Captain D's before. I don't think. The nice, uh, the, the Orifice is quite the interesting gadget. Thanks, the membership soggy. The lifetime ban was supposed to be a message for NBA and other leagues for betting punishments. No, like I said, I it makes sense. It really does make sense. I get it. But I, I would just really like the NBA to also maybe do something about. Carl Malone type shit? Like, maybe be like, you know what? This is unacceptable. And so is this. <laughs> Let's do something about this. You can have both. Should have both. I 
Have you heard about the parkour game being made by one man? It's called Rooftops and Alleys. I have not heard of that. Would love to be in the mind of someone who decides three million isn't enough, so I'm gonna gamble my whole career for a third of that, knowing that this shit never works. Hey, now, I wouldn't go that far. This shit probably does work, you just don't hear about it because they're smart enough to not get caught. I truly believe, not so much players, but some of the refs are 100%, not just in the NBA, in sports in general, 100% placing bets. They have so much power and so much sway over an outcome, I highly suspect there are refs that are placing bets. But you don't hear about them because they're not getting caught like Porter. Shit, I'm really sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear you've been having a tough time, Wiggies. I hope it gets better. Stay strong. Hoping things look up for you. I still have not seen Late Night with the Devil yet. Speaking of sports gambling, have you kept up with the Shohei Otani gambling situation? His inter his interpreter stole 16 mil from him and somehow lost 40 million. Dude sucked at gambling. Yeah, we talked about him. I'm very familiar with that. And I did like it. It was good DLC. Either the refs are betting on games or they're being forced to follow a script. Okay, I hate the fucking script theory because that's, that's just outrageous. Do you know how many people would have to be tight-lipped about that? Like, that's where... When you break down these, like, really large conspiracy theories, like a fucking script for the games... There are so many people that would be privy to that knowledge, it would 100% leak. It's impossible. You would not be able to script it. But, the refs are 100% placing bets. And that's where I think some of the shit being rigged comes in. Because of corrupt refs. I've heard Dying Light 2's been pretty fucking solid. I haven't checked in recently, but I heard it's going in a good direction. Hey, Henry. Some of them do get scripts it's been admitted to by players, but it's definitely not all of them. Oh, those are memes. Those are literally jokes from people leaning in on it. I know exactly what you're referring to. It's like when I play in a game... Well, I, well, it's been a while. But it's like when I play in a game that means something and I talk about it being scripted if I die or lose or something. Like, it's just leaning into a joke. That's exactly all it is. There's no fucking scripts in professional sports. Just corrupt officiating. Have you seen D2 for Dreamcast? Yeah, someone mentioned it yesterday. Mm. Hi, Gabe. Oh, my bad. I thought it said Henry. Hi, Henny. Doing alright. I hope you're doing well, Crambo. Thanks for resub. Pausal. And bubble. Mm. 
You see the resurface rumors that Twitter will revive Vine. No, I'll look it up though. I don't think that'd be a terrible idea for Twitter at this point. They need something. Will Elon Musk revive Vine? Oh my god, what the fuck is this huge ad? I can't even... Thank you. <clears throat> He's resub fertile. <clears throat> Elon Musk could bring back the once popular short form video app, Vine. Asking users in a poll on Wednesday whether X should revive the shuttered app, potentially following through on months of speculation about a Vine comeback years after Twitter shelved the platform. So it looks like he did a, a tweet. If he does, great. If he doesn't, who cares? I think it'd be a smart idea to do it. I think they lose nothing by bringing back Vine. They only stand to gain. And now's the perfect time for short form video competition. Thanks to Prime Shady. I don't know, John. I don't know if I'll finish it or not. Hi, Gonta. Hope you have a good night. And hello, Birdo. If TikTok gets banned, it makes sense to bring Vine back. Even if TikTok doesn't get banned, I think it makes sense for them to bring back Vine. Just to compete in the short the short form game. Might as well. Hey, well I appreciate that. Thanks for the long time of watching then, Sane. Happy birthday, Splade. Vine had amazing comedy, I wouldn't be opposed. I remember liking some vines back in the day, but I wonder if it's just like rose tinted glasses or if they actually hold up well. I don't know. It was so different for its time. It's just the good ones we remember. That's probably it. It's probably just remembering all of like the classics. I don't want Vine back under Musk leadership. Look what he's done to Twitter. I just don't know how he could fuck up Vine. Like, Twitter, it's obvious. He, he really did fuck that up. It's almost nothing but porn, bots, and um, engagement bait. But Vine, like, how could you possibly fuck that up? And yeah, we watched that the other week, actually. I didn't know who Chopper Reed was at the time. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks for that, Paul, and welcome. I thought it was all bots. It, it is, at this point, it's pretty much all bots on Twitter, man. It's so hard. Like, if you click on any tweet with traction, any tweet at all, you have to scroll, like, fucking 40 replies before you find anything that's even remotely related to the tweet. Everything else is either porn, general bot spam, or completely unrelated videos that autoplay so they can get some engagement off of it to make like a tiny paycheck from their Twitter Blue subscription. It's awful. It's so bad. And then, I don't know if you guys saw, Elon's toying around with the idea where if you make a new account, you're going to have to pay a small fee to post, and it's, way, it's his way of combating against bots. But he doesn't realize, like, most of the bots already have a blue check mark. Like, what they will do is they probably just get another blue checkmark account and post without paying the fee, or they'll just fucking pay the fee. They clearly have no problem doing so. It's so dumb.
There's the membership. Elhan. I get sex bots randomly liking my tweets for no reason. Yeah. That's very common. If they brought back... If you brought back Vine, how would you try and differentiate it from TikTok? Oh, I wouldn't at all. I would copy TikTok. Last thing I want to do is differentiate it. That's not what people want. People just want more of the, comf the same comfort junk food. I'd give them the exact same TikTok experience, but on Vine. I wouldn't change a fucking thing to try and separate it. Oh no, I didn't see the new Atlas. Did they post the new Atlas? Shorts is almost an exact copy of TikTok and it's doing great. Beautiful example, yeah. Instagram Reels is great aside from the car crashes. That's what everyone says that Instagram Reels is so much like ca like so much car accident content. I've only scrolled it that one time on stream and I didn't see any of that. It was just like normal shorts. It's Risa Atlanta. But everybody says that. That's an algorithm thing? Nah, I don't believe that. That's what people say about Twitter. Like, there's all, there's a couple people that somehow don't get any of the gore porn bots or any of the normal shit. And they're like, yeah, it must just be what you search. And it's like, no, brother. No one's out there fucking searching. If you've seen this leak, you're going to hell or whatever. And no one's searching for, like, endless amounts of gore. But for some reason, it keeps feeding that to many people. So there definitely is something in there. So I believe that Instagram Reels has a ton of car accident shit on it that gets fed to people for some reason. But I, it's not me. When I scroll, I don't see that. You know, I'll do it right now, actually. I'll do it again. Let me see. Let's see what I get on Instagram Reels. This one's a guy doing a business guru course, but I think it's a skit. This one's a cover of Sweet Child of Mine. This one's someone filming doing a crazy workout at Planet Fitness. Okay, this one was a guy falling off of a stretcher. This one's a lady doing a fashion shoot. This one's a guy... I think it's a clip from Jubilee. This one's a guy doing a gym meme with Tobey Maguire. This one's a clip from Lil Wayne's podcast? Or Lil Wayne on a podcast? Yeah, no, no car accidents yet. I had to explain to my girl that Instagram meme pages promote lewd content and it's annoying. <laughs> that's yeah that is actually very interesting i don't know about instagram but on twitter account like prolific shit post accounts at least five six seven times a week they're gonna make like an un, <laughs> un unhinged post about like subscribing to someone's porn they're like man you guys gotta check out this pussy if you've seen her leaks you're not going to heaven does anyone know why the world got so much worse after this girl's titties came out link in bio like pages you like you just go to watch like normal memes on it happens all the time leaks is the big keyword right now leaks is the big one. Oh, i love hockey i think hockey is so fun to watch and i don't know if i'll be able to stomach the second season of velma it's it's a lot that's a lot.
No, I believe you, and I believe you. I, I really do believe Reels has a lot of car accident shit, but I don't get fed that. Mainly because I, I probably because I don't go on Instagram at all, like actually almost never. A buddy of mine kept getting Instagram reels of a video f of videos from some dude named Tom Pearl who eats his own shit. I gotta check that out real quick. <laughs> now I'm curious. Will this change my Instagram real algorithm? Will I get in there? Will it put me in the mainframe now? This caption says, Alvin and the gang forced to eat spoiled food. Oh, and it's the guy spooning poop from a bowl in his mouth. Instagram lets this? Let's this go? This is 35 weeks old. They're okay with shit eating? That's kind of cool, I guess. They taint what? No, I don't think so. Will you ever play Star Citizen? If it ever comes out, yeah, I'll play it. Fire, Daniel! I'm excited. I don't know. I just don't have any really good ideas for the design. Truly, dealer's choice. Anything you think is cool, I'll think is cool. Things are some crunchy. Things resub fire in the prime. Egav. Appreciate that. Thanks, local. I just mastered Suno AI, the songwriting one. Nice. <laughs> Good luck. Glad to hear you mastered AI music. That a boy. Have you seen the new? Oh yeah, I wanted to look up the new Boston Dynamics robot. Thanks for reminding me. Apparently, they did a new Atlas. Boston Dynamics posted a teaser video of its new all-electric... Well, let me just go to Boston Dynamics itself. <laughs> Looks like the Pixar mascot. The little white guy. Looks like some sleepy. Let me give Sibylana. That was pretty cool. Have you been back on Suno AI? I'm Anakin Beatwalker. I blew through months credits plus some and had to take a real step back. <laughs> Anakin Beatwalker is a great name, but no, I haven't been on Suno since stream. That looked fake as hell. Nah, Boston Dynamics does real shit. I don't know what they do to make money. But they make a lot of robot prototypes and concepts and research. There's a membership, WXYZ. I actually, yeah, I just got recommended one WXYZ. I'll have to check it out. I'm excited to see the new runs. Thanks, Risa Bowel. And maybe I'd revisit Dying Light 2 at some point. Content warning robot. Here's the Prime Ghost. Uh. 
Now we need Atlas for Mech Assault. Damn, that's a name I haven't heard in so many years. Thanks to Prime, Tyler. Not the robot only fans. Oh, there probably won't be a robot only fans, but man, AI, uh, AI only fans creators and shit are going crazy. Those are popping up a lot on Twitter right now, and they're gonna start raking in big bucks from people that don't know it's AI, or even the ones that do, I guess. We were talking about that AI beauty pageant yesterday, but I totally forgot to bring up that the rise of AI porn creation is already like popping. Thanks for your sub T pants, the membership, Alex. Oh yeah, I'll definitely check out Epic Universe. That's awesome. Thanks for that, Quaid. I'm glad to hear things are looking up. I appreciate that. Thanks, Ma. Nice. That'll be a cool gift stone. I have an Instagram meme page. I don't do OnlyFans ads because they're cringe, but they make bank off them. They typically get a couple thousand. It's wild. Yeah, I mean, I, it's not like I blame them for doing it. They make they make a bag from it. They pay a lot. Thanks, membership, Darth. I just wonder how effective it is to advertise through, like, a meme page. I really am curious. Because you pay a couple thousand dollars, but I can't imagine you get customers that'll make up for that or make more than that. But who knows? Thanks a long time of watching, Journey. Appreciate it, Alhan. Mm -hmm. There's a tier one. Damn it. You able to check the video of the tow truck, the tow truck attempting to tow and carjack a moving car? Oh yeah, let me check that out. Shows a tow truck driver His membership, Francis. To attached to a car while the owner is driving it. It happened in San Francisco. Did she get sentenced down? Good. Is raising a lot of questions. NBC Bay Area's Christy Smith explains. It's very bizarre, yeah, and it's very, it's very scary. Jeff Furland stopped near Montgomery and Bush Streets when something odd caught his eye. I saw a Waymo with its hazards on, and then I saw a tow truck maneuvering to, from in front of me to come and make a tow. And I thought, oh, I'm just going to see this hook up with, a, you know, a broken Waymo car and take off. And then he went for the car next to it, which had people in it, and started loading that. And they started backing up, and he started chasing him with the tow truck. Furland what the fuck? Why? And caught most of it on video. I'm going to, this is the effective thing I can do right now, is record this, because it's wrong. He says he's never seen anything like it. He had the piece down, uh, he maneuvered the forks under the front tires, he continued to chase them backwards with the forks down, um, and then when he went to take off, as soon as he takes off, he's raising the arm. It all happened Wait, so, quickly. unsuccessful. Them maneuvered around and passed, and that, at that point they had a clear shot to get away from the tow truck, and they took it. We're just digging into this as we speak. I also understand that the San Francisco Police Department is aware of this incident, and we encourage members of the public... I thought this was like a, like a police chase or something, where they recruited a tow truck driver to try and be like the hero. Kind of like what they did with the guy in the front loader. Was this just like a random act of trying to tow somebody? Contact them if oh, wait, yeah, sorry. This is still uh, last night's volume. The behavior of go. this company. Earlier this year, City Attorney David Chu announced he suspended auto towing and affiliated companies from doing business with the city, including specialty towing and recovery. The truck in the video has specialty towing on the side, but it's unclear if it's with the suspended company because multiple companies use specialty in their name. So assuming this is specialty towing, this is the same towing company that our office previously moved to suspend and debar from receiving city contracts. We reached out to the company listed on the I door can see why. Truck by phone and email, but have not heard back with a comment in time for broadcast. Christy Smith, NBC Bay Area News. What an interesting fucking plan. What 
what did they expect to happen? Like, if that successfully worked, then what? The cu- like the customer's not gonna like pay. They'll y- you did something illegal. They'll call the police. Like, what is the plan? I don't get it. Then no, I do not Gucci. Hold the car ransom, but it wouldn't work because that what they did is illegal. The the victim would just call the police. Thanks for your sub Avenger. <laughs> Sounds good, Avenger. Ooh, Jesus, appreciate that, KTB. What's your opinion on AI likeness? I mean, I feel like we're in the Napster days of downloading music. They need to identify who the algorithm is picking from and pay them. As neat as it seems, I enjoy making the music and the art, etc. We, uh, I'm a little confused. What do you mean? Like, uh, like me personally, or like AI borrowing human beings' likeness to try and fool people? I'm, a, I guess, I'm a little confused on the question. I'm glad to hear it helped you, Cheetah. But it is fun to make, like, AI music, if that's what you're talking about. But there's a difference between just making goofy AI tracks for fun, like, what happened to my member and stuff like that, and fucking poop is how we show love or whatever the other one was, and, like, trying to sell that as real, authentic music to people that don't know it's AI-generated. Like, they're two very different things. So I guess I'm just confused on what the question was. You heard Plankton AI Metal? Yeah, of course I have. I love Neon Tide. I would rank you in Siege now. Still Gold 5. I played like shit last night. Thanks the membership puppet. You streaming to both Twitch and YouTube or just YouTube now? No, I do both. I always simul stream. And yeah, of course I've heard Glorb's new track. Oh, me personally then? No. That that doesn't bother me, KT. That's up to you. I guess it just depends on what you make it do. Boston Dynamics did a video where they tied chat GPT into their spot dog and had spots tour people around the building. One did fire poetry. That sounds kind of cute. You hear about the museum employee who committed reverse threat, reverse theft after he hung up his own artwork and nobody noticed. <laughs> that's actually adorable. No, that's news to me. Let me see. His membership broken. I'm oh, sorry to hear that angel. Hope it recovers soon. German gallery fires employee for hanging up his own art in an exhibi- exhibi- Jesus, exhibition. I want to see his art. Again, it truly just depends on what it's used for, KT. But I do think something like that, for the vast majority of cases, would be pretty scummy. But I can see certain things where it wouldn't be, like if it's made as a joke or something.
This is kind of cute. Thanks to Prime Peen. He shouldn't have been fired, maybe warned. I don't know. <laughs> like, drilling two holes in a wall to mount your own paintings is just kind of a weird thing to do. Thanks to Tier 1 Clutch. If you have an employee you can't trust, I can see why they would. Especially around, like, expensive art. <laughs> when your art is so bad. Yeah, maybe it's just the art was trash. Yeah, I mean, it features the work of Pablo Picasso, Max Ernst, and Salvador Dali. So if you have an employee going rogue drilling holes into the walls next to them to hang up their own art, I bet you'd feel like it's kind of risky to keep them around, because what might they do to, like, the big artist's work? Like, that's a lot of money at play there. And this is kind of cute. This is a different incident though. They handled it very differently. I do not remember that plague. How long ago was that? Oh yeah, Unrecord. When is that coming out? We, we watched that trailer when it dropped. I don't know when it comes out though, it should be soon. It's Resub Hess. AI artists aren't really being considered artists by anyone but themselves. I don't think there will ever come a time where people look at those that just generate AI art and call them real artists. Right now the term they're trying to coin for themselves is prompt engineers or something. And that's the goofiest shit. It, they're not artists, and I don't think they'll ever be considered artists. Break the pencil. Yeah, th that one was a meme, though. There's no way they, they were serious there. But I think they do try and call themselves prompt engineers. Or maybe that's something different. I can't quite recall now. They did have a cute term for it, though. Maybe it was a prompt engineer, because that sounds a little too different. Thanks to Prime Panda. People said that about photography. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you come in here with that hogwash. There is a massive, unbelievably huge difference between photography and AI generative art. That is so fucking different. Thanks, Arisa of JK. As an actual photographer, you still have the human element of creativity injected into your work at its very soul. Like, you are still actually creating something with photography. Like, I get, like, maybe when it first came around, people kind of shit on it, who hot it, whatever. But AI artists is not a real thing, because you're, you're not the actual artist the machine is. So you can't be considered the, the, the force of the art. You just typed in the prompt for it to generate. It's so different. That's so different. I don't ever see there being a time where people look at AI art and say like, ooh, this is from the <laughs> the genius mind of Charles White, prominent AI prompter. Thanks, KT. It's like calling yourself an artist for commissioning an artist to draw something. I mean, that's not really a terrible way of looking at it. I've never heard that, but that's really not a bad way of looking at it. 
Thanks, resub Kobe. I'm sorry to hear that, Clever. That's been happening a lot. Art is supposed to evoke an emotion. Clearly, AI art is art because it's pissing you off. Whoa, 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 you're getting some wires crossed. I'm not saying AI art isn't art. I'm saying the person who generates that art isn't an artist. Like, I'm, I've always been one that doesn't need, like, a firm definition of art, but I will put a definition to an artist. And the person who's generating that art that the AI spits out is not an artist. They didn't create it. They didn't make it. Again, it's like commissioning a piece and calling yourself an artist. But yeah. The AI art that gets spit out, I'm fine calling it art. That's fine. That doesn't bother me one bit. Yeah, you're more of like a typist. And yeah, that's, yeah I think you're probably right on that potion. I think I just got the wrong term. Thanks to the membership, Ronan. It was Prime, and it's a great song from Megadeth. Would you call them an art coordinator? <laughs> the person who types in the prompt being the art coordinator? <laughs> uh, probably not. I feel like that's like too serious of a title for it. Again, it's still like not really doing much at all. Maybe like, uh, what, what term would I give it? What would be a good title for it? Maybe like the prompt supervisor? The promptest? Promptest is kind of cute. The picture describer is pretty good. Yeah, the picture describer is not bad. The Imagination Curator. Hey, good luck clearing the trial. Hope you guys do well, Spider-Face. The Thought Worder. <laughs> These are fucking fire names. Yeah, we talked. We already talked about the uh, dead body trying to get a loan. I'd pull it up if I could, but I can't because it's legitimately a dead body. Well, let me take a pee pee real quick. A little tinkle. I'll be right back.
come back. Lip. You hear OJ Simpson's Broncos being sold? Is it? For how much? And by who? Ford Bronco using the OJ Simpson car chase ready to sell. They want at least 1.5 million. Who has it? The infamous white Ford Bronco carrying OJ Simpson in a low speed chase across LA after the murder of his ex wife and her friend may finally be up for sale. Former agent Michael Gilbert. Who's going to pay $1.5 million for a car used in a crime? Who would be the client for that? Thanks, Risa Braun and Bong and Hi June. Someone will. Jay Leno. Jay Leno does love cars, but I feel like this one's not... I don't know. I don't think it's going to sell. Been on loan to the Alcatraz East Crime Museum in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee since 2016 was $750,000. This the offer, that is, by the way. But they do have offers, I guess. I did not see that waddle. It was on par it was on Pawn Stars 2. Rick and Chum Lee drove in it. OJ Simpson's Bronco was on Pawn Stars. Wow. <laughs> cool. Can't. It'll get flagged on YouTube. I couldn't watch it. If you had to convince the world that OJ didn't do it, how would you do it? Oh, nowadays, it'd be so easy. You just play into everyone's irrational, illogical hatred of anything official. So I'd be like, this is a deep, state, a deep state frame job. They're trying to hide the truth and frame an innocent man because he was looking behind the curtain at all the woke mind virus victims. And I'd have people eating out of the fucking palm of my hands on Twitter. It's so free. Probably not the jury, dude. Oh, yeah, probably not the jury. I, I'm, I'm talking more from a public perception. That's how I'd have people believe it. All you have to do is just play into that. And then I'd bring up, like, pseudo-religious stuff. That's cute, Ark. Yeah, I heard. Have you seen the video of O.J. Simpson pretending to stab someone as a prank? Yeah. He did that to the uh, the interviewer. She said, like, OJ had a little surprise for me, and, like, she opened her, I think it was her hotel door, and he's there, and he just goes, ha, 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 laughing at her. It was diabolical.
do you think OJ did it? Is that even a real question? <laughs> Beyond a single shadow of a doubt, OJ did it. Yeah. Everyone knows, the whole world knows. There's not a... T- when we did the Red Thread episode on today, <laughs> Isaiah brought up a great fucking point. So, usually in a case where someone gets, like, acquitted, right, of murder, an investigation continues to find out, well, who the fuck did it then? When OJ was acquitted, they never once went back to try and find the murderer. (laughs) That should tell you all you need to know. Apparently Ubisoft responded to the Star Wars Outlaw controversy with the deluxe editions. What'd they say? I don't see anything new from Ubisoft there. Where'd you find it? Yeah, we're doing Siege in a little bit. It was a PC Gamer article. Okay, let me see. Oh, here it is. Ubisoft responds as Star Wars Outlaws comes under fire for the Jabba the Hutt Season Pass exclusive. This is dealing with its deluxe edition garbage. And I'd like to, mnemonics. I'm going to double check to see if I need permission, but if I do, I'm going to try and get it. Star Wars Outlaw prompted a collective sigh last week when it reveals the single-player open-world adventure will have a season pass in addition to the nowadays common play-the-game early incentive attached to the pricey special editions <laughs> for an extra $40 with a gold edition for a total of 110 bucks. The season pass gets you two post-launch expansions, some cosmetics, and an exclusive day-one mission called Jabba's Gambit. The latter bonus triggered widespread fuming as it was possible to jump to the conclusion based on some perhaps ambiguous wording, this mission was the one and only Jabba the Hutt mission in the game. Look at the headlines, after all. You need season pass, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's definitely not the only Job of the Hutt mission in the game, according to Ubisoft. To clarify, Job of the Hutt and the Hutt Cartel are one of the main syndicates in Star Wars Outlaws and will be part of the experience for everyone who purchases the game, regardless of edition. The Jabba's Gambit mission is an optional additional mission with the Hutt Cartel along Kay and Nix's journey across the Outer Rim. This mission will be available to those who purchase the season pass or an addition to the game which includes the season pass. Still sucks to gate launch content behind season pass and pre-order incentives, but rest assured that your appetite for the hut still will still go sated in Star Wars Outlaws, whether you pay out big or not. Okay. That's even worse. Well, I mean, it's not even worse. I wouldn't say it's even worse. Hold on, give me two seconds. Ubisoft run by the guy who wanted to charge money to people to reload a... Oh, no, you're getting a lot of different things crossed there. That was the former EA guy who then became the Unity guy. He doesn't work for Ubisoft, not to my knowledge. Hundreds of beavers? I've never even heard of that movie. 
Fallout Season 1 it slapped. What do you expect in Season 2 with the Vegas tease and how they're adapting? Also, I keep seeing articles on how episodes need to be released weekly. Who enjoys that? Well, you're looking at someone that enjoys that. Uh, to the first part of that, I have now very high hopes of Season 2. I really hope they don't fumble it. To the second part of that, weekly episodes, so much better. So much better. Everyone watches at the exact same speed, for the most part. No one's like... Like, it's much easier to avoid spoilers. You can communicate with people about things because everyone's at the same part. They can't be ahead of you if you're caught up. It's so nice. I think that's a lot of the fun with shows is being able to engage with others with it. Whereas a binge model, you'll have people that binge it all in one sitting or some people that watch here and there and everyone's just all over the place. I love the weekly model so much more. And it gives you, like, a fun thing to plan on to look forward to. Like, take for example Shogun. Shogun has stayed in the public consciousness for nine weeks now. And it just keeps getting better and better and better. And people get to talk about it. People get to reflect on each episode and, like, digest things and come up with theories on where it's going. Well, I mean, it's based on a book, so if you read the book, you know where it's going. But it's fun. It's more fun. I don't like binge-watching at all. It becomes more of, like, a chore than an enjoyment. People don't make friends anymore and want instant gratification. Yeah, I think, like, the binge model works really well for people that don't talk to others often, or at least not about what they're doing or what they like. Like, it's really good for, I don't know, people that just need something constantly. Is there some Marcy in the tank? Weekly model working super well for X-Men 97. Yeah, that's another good example. Well, I'm happy to hear that, Marcy. I hope things are going well for you now. I have not built it, Tyler. I'm keeping it in the box. And of course, I, I used to watch Gundam all the time. When I was younger. Thanks, resubscribe. You should literally have the ability to watch at your own speed. And you can. With weekly, too. You don't have to watch every week. You can watch whenever you want. I did unfortunately do that by accident, Outlaw. And why is releasing the whole season such an issue? I mean, it's not such an issue, I just prefer weekly. Like, for example, all of Fallout dropped. It's very hard to talk about Fallout because I don't know where people are. So it's going to be huge spoilers for a lot of people that are actively watching it but just haven't binged it yet. Because, I mean, it's a big ask for most normal working people to binge eight hours in, like, a couple days. So it's not as fun. Whereas if it was released weekly and, like, two episodes were out right now, easy to talk about. So easy. How's it spoilers? The game's been out since forever. It doesn't follow a game. It's just the same universe. It's a totally unique storyline. I think I've seen that, Donnie. That sounds super familiar. JoJo's, Bi JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean got completely destroyed because of the binge-watching model. Of weekly JoJo Fridays got ruined because of Netflix. That's an example I used in my Invincible video as well. They absolutely butchered Stone Ocean. And I have not, dude. I just saw something got posted for it. Do you agree Arcane did it the best way? Three episodes a week for three weeks. Arcane's was really... Like, I think Arcane's was really good. I'm surprised more people don't do that. Like, that worked so well for Arcane. It was good. Like, I did not mind, like, the three batches. That was nice. I'd like to see more of that. I think that was a good model.
Yeah, they released JoJo's in three different batches of binge. And it completely ruined it. I still haven't finished Stone Ocean because of that. You think the Gears of War movie will be a hit or a miss? I'm just gonna look it up, man. I don't think that's happening. I know it's like B Dave Batista rumored to be a part of it, but I just don't see it happening. Here, it's the most recent thing from it. <laughs> An encouraging script update for Gears of War. Netflix film boss Scott Stuber spoke candidly about Gears of War and Bioshock movies in November 2023. Shining a light on the progress of the scripts and the immediate aftermath of the strikes. The adaptation's on its way. It was confirmed and announced by Netflix on the streamer's 16th birthday, 2022. The Gears of War movie confirmation comes as a relief as it was following years of development hell. <clears throat> New Line Cinema purchased the movie rights back in 2007. That was when Gears of War was at its height. That was right before Gears of War 2 came out. Gears of War 1 was taking the world by storm. And now it's fucking dead. However, there's a lot of development to get through for the live action Gears of War. The movie still hasn't even been assigned a director. 17 years and can't get a director cooked. Well, this is interesting. Nevertheless, Netflix hired a seasoned and acclaimed screenwriter to pin the script... John, I don't know how to say his last name, is the Gears of War movie writer, and considering his work on Doctor Strange and Dune, he's the perfect choice. That's a heavy hitter. It's just because of the, the, the version of it, Sleazy. Thanks, Resub Fart. Adapting games into movies is a mistake. They need more than two hours. It would, I mean, they always work better as a show, but... I think it, Gears of War I see kind of working. The first Gears of War was only like four hours long. And its story was still good. You can make a two-hour Gears of War movie work. Oh, the Sonic movies are a good thing to pull from. Yeah, those do really well. Hi, Huck. Jack Black, for instance, wants a Red Dead movie, and I think that would be utter trash, needs to be a show. A Red Dead movie would be abominable. It needs to be a show. I completely agree. You cannot do a Red Dead movie, but a show would work. I appreciate it, KT. Thanks for the generosity. Have a good night. I don't know a good niche anime for you, though. Maybe Cat, maybe Cash and Sins, perhaps? See, the new Spongebob movie will have nudity. Cool. Yeah, we already looked at the new Boston Dynamics robot. No, I've been trying to think of things to do for the YouTube members since the claw machine's not up yet. Right now it's just emotes. I think it's only two emotes. But I'll, I've been trying to think of some shit to put for it. 
Eventually the claw machine will work with it, but right now it doesn't, so I've been trying to think of things in the meantime. I haven't come up with anything too good, though. Not even The Last of Us Part 1 was long enough for one season. Felt rushed. Yeah, I disagree. I think Last of Us Part 1 was pretty strong. Did you do the Name 100 Women Challenge from QT? I did not. I feel like I wouldn't be able to. I probably wouldn't even be able to name 100 men. It's hard to name 100 anything on the spot. Thanks a membership, Anthony. Most people who did it used porn stars. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I still haven't seen the first Omen. That's two back-to-back -back horror movies have great reviews. That and Late Night with the Devil. Both have really big reviews. Glowing. And they do seem good. Especially Late Night with the Devil. Is it out? Yeah, it's been out for like three weeks. It's been out for a while. Yeah, I've played Ultra Kill. I just haven't beaten it. You seen the botched Botox shots story? You talking about the temporal facelift? All right, we can talk about that. I actually went down a little bit of a rabbit hole today because of that video. I feel like this is becoming kind of common. I see this pop up every now and then on Twitter, where a bunch of like really young women are getting these entirely unnecessary cosmetic surgeries that end up changing the whole course of their life in like a not positive way. Yeah, I'll definitely watch it at some point, Soggy. It looks like a good movie. And no, uh, I'm not a big Bucky's fan, so I haven't been keeping up with that. Let me find this video real quick. I saw it all over Twitter earlier, but now I can't find it when I look it up. Let me just go directly to Twitter. It'll be easier. It also surprised me just how many plastic surgeons advertise their practice on TikTok to young women. And then there's so many people in the comments saying, how can I get this done? And they like drop their WhatsApp and like payment info to schedule. Here it is, found it. This isn't the, the tweet that I saw, but this is the video. I saw like a bunch of different tweets with this.
He's a tier one. Rarlaw. But yeah, that's the whole thing. So I looked into it because I was curious if this is like an isolated case. Because, I mean, she's young. She's not bad looking or anything at all. And then gets this temporal facelift, which completely changes her entire facial shape and looks like never fully heals. I mean, I guess I don't really know the process, but it doesn't... It still doesn't look like it's healed. It looks like it's still, like, swollen... And it's just a highly unnecessary cosmetic surgery, which, I mean, if she wants to get it, that's, that's up to her, but I feel like it's just being promoted so heavily on TikTok and shit right now that so many young people are paying tons of money for these type of procedures that are highly unnecessary and super exploitative. And it, it does not look like that's the intended result. I thought she was mewing. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be mewing, it'd be like reverse mewing. Surgeons are just all about money these days, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. So when I looked up temporal facelifts on TikTok, because I'd never heard of them, it's a huge community on TikTok. Tons and tons of videos like this. And tons of tons of young women in the comments trying to schedule their appointment for thousands of dollars. I don't know, man. I just don't really get it. Let me see if you said Perry. It's just it's people looking to, like, prey on people's insecurities and try and reinforce the idea that you can look better if you pay money to us to make you look better. Because, I mean, she looks, she looks totally fine. Like, there's no cosmetic surgery needed at all. I really think it's just you go on TikTok all this time and you see other people do it and you're like, fuck, I guess I gotta do it in order to look beautiful like them or something. But I don't know, I'm, I'm not her. I'm not, I'm not in her fucking head or anything. But I just feel like that's what the TikTok surgeons are preying on. True cheese, man, you're right. It is not called Twitter anymore. My girlfriend gets some... My girlfriend gets some preventative Botox for wrinkles, nothing major, but every time she goes in, she says the nurse makes comments on things she should get done, like crow's feet, etc., just so they convince you to buy more. Yeah, it's so fucking evil. Like, I get doing it for your own personal reasons, there's nothing wrong with that, but I just feel like things like the temporal facelift at this age are 100% put into their head by things online. Because, I mean, that, that literally aged her like 10 years. Is the supermodel effect again? That's probably exactly what it is. Yeah, I remember that. The one where young women's magazines pushed anorexia pandemic, but worse since people can profit off it. Yeah, that's probably exactly what it is on TikTok. Plastic surgery can fuck you up, man. Look at Simon Cowell's plastic surgery, bro. Looks like he's melting. Well, I, I mean, you don't have to tell me. I mean, I know. Plastic surgery is dangerous. Plastic surgery has been, like, super normalized, even for, like, really young people, thanks to TikTok mainly, that they think it's just, like, a no-risk, nothing kind of procedure, in and out, no biggie, no problems at all. That shit can fuck you for life. No risk, no riz. <laughs> That's... Wow, what a motto.
look at Dolly Parton. I haven't seen Dolly Parton in the modern age. Yep, I know the fan adaptation fan adaptation of Berserk is coming out pretty soon. I saw that new trailer they dropped the other day. Man, that is the weirdest thing I've read in a minute, Skinny Jeans. Did you watch the Peruvian police special forces stop a drug deal dressed as the Avengers? No, I'll take a peek, though. <laughs> Peruvian police dressed up as superheroes to catch drug dealer. Come on, Spider-Man. Thor's the only one that put any effort into this. What is this, Spider-Man? <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's below Party City level. Come on. You're gonna catch drug dealers with that? Jeepers creepers. He's a tier one ant. So why? Why did- like, I don't- I still don't really get why. Why do they dress up as the Avengers? Because it's epic. I mean, it's kind of epic. I mean, here's Spider-Man wearing a- a police vest. That's kind of epic, I guess. Like, look at those shoes! Come on, Spider-Man! He didn't even try. La mamá, el papá y los hijos también se iban a vender a un parque que está cerca, pero en las horas que no tenían venta salían a las avenidas cercanas y hurtaban celulares. There's a lot of packets of cocaine. I feel like this is just a blatant lie. The costumes apparently work. Police say at first the family thought the raid was a Halloween joke. In what fucking universe? They came in with a sledgehammer. They literally broke the glass on their door and opened it. There was no time for them to even process the costumes. What do you mean? How did they think it was a Halloween joke? Is the prime broken? Arachnid male. <laughs> True. Oh, thank you, Edgar, for the translation. I'll definitely check it out, WXYZ. And I've not seen the newest one, Skippy. Have you watched Kaiju number eight? No, I have not. Not yet. I still haven't yet, Irony. Not yet. Opinions on Green Day? I used to like Green Day when I was young. 
I still like some of their songs, but not that much. I heard one of their newer songs not too long ago, and it was horrible. But some of their older ones are still alright. Let's read some snowman. Have you ever tried this? I tried that Nurdle battle. It didn't work. I don't know how how to make it work. Like the the Nurdle doesn't work. I'll try again, I guess, but I just don't really get the process, like how it's supposed to function. I'd honestly rather it just be like movie trivia battle royale. Yeah, we'll be playing a little bit of Siege. There's a plastic surgery show called The Swan. Never heard of it. I watched it, well, we watched the show called, um... Was it called Botched? I think it was just called Botched, about really bad plastic surgery. No, I still haven't got the DAC for the IEMs yet. Oh yeah, we can start Siege. We went over we went over most of the stuff I wanted to anyway. Let's get a little Siege. Get some reps in. Make the push to plat. Have you seen the Lexi Boner incident? Yeah, I saw a little bit about it, like the summary. She apparently beat up a child, and then everyone on TikTok's been, like, doxing her and, uh, like, trying to find information about her or something. That's what I heard. What was the name of the devil movie? Late Night with the Devil. We need season three Invincible. Well, I mean, it's coming. Grandma's toes is always on at just the right time. I did, Grim. Do you think Alien Romulus is fully inspired by isolation? No. What are you talking about, Zylance? Who?
My day's been alright. I haven't really done too much today. I bought a sledgehammer. And I'm trying to find a tractor tire. I'm gonna start doing some, like, manly cardio. I was gonna do wood chopping, but I really don't feel like wasting a lot of wood. So instead I'm just gonna do sledgehammer on tire hits. Some functional strength cardio. Actual primal shit. You could sell the wood. <laughs> that sounds like significantly more trouble. I don't even know where I'd sell it on the Facebook marketplace. I just go buy wood, chop it, and then sell the chopped wood. That's like a RuneScape money-making method. <laughs> Fletching logs. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. What an interesting dream. My uncle runs a wood business like that. Is it profitable to just chop wood? Like wood that you're not gathering, wood that you're buying? Thanks to the membership and them. I feel like it can't be. I feel like you'd probably lose money in the wood process. Right? Wouldn't you? Thanks with Prime Attack. Either way though, I, I've already got the sledgehammer now, I just need the Protect tire. The I'm not gonna bother chopping wood yet. Thanks, Oddish. Doing alright, hope you're well. Oh my god. Jesus, what is happening? Ten seconds. Five seconds. Use the sledge on a pit of sand, it'll make it harder and the sand will suppress. I actually thought about buying, like, a bunch of sandbags, but they just blow up the sandbags. No one ever comes through this, but I'll put it here anyway. But a pit of sand is an interesting idea I didn't consider. I don't know why I think this will work, but just in case. Welcome at Deployed. Again, sometimes the stupidest spots are the ones that actually work. Op 4 has located a bomb. You're exposed. I thought the other one was right behind him. Oh! One of mine got him! Which one? Which one? I placed three stupid ones. It had to be the one over the cover. Yeah, I got those Sigma spots. Whoa! That 
Let me across. What? Oh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I, I wasn't paying enough attention to where that he died. I didn't know he blew open that wall. Damn, I didn't see where Grandma's toes went down. Yeah, metal's the main genre I listen to. Thoughts on the Drake versus Kendrick situation? I haven't really kept up with Drake's side of things, so I don't I don't know what he's done. But people shitting on Drake always makes me giggle. He's a weird guy. He's a prime frizz. So far, it's only been AI drama with Drake. But again, I, I, like I said, I don't know. I haven't kept up with what he's done in regards to it. Let's do some cheese. I bet that works. There's just that little bit of wood right there. Someone's not gonna see it. They're gonna, gonna come like this. Bang! I'm calling my shot right now. His toe's kind of popping up there. A bomb has been located by Op 4. Any metal recommendations? Depends on what kind of metal you like. Tier list, huh? Perhaps. What's the main genre of band you listen to regarding metal? I don't think there is a main genre. A big one I listen to is mellow death, melodic death metal. But I like pretty much every genre. Do you like Five Finger Death Punch? No. I like two songs from them. The Bleeding and Left Behind. Past that, not really.
secure the area. Keep the bombs protected. Jesus Christ. Deploying mobile cover. Black Dahlia murders are right. They're bad. Like a couple of their songs. Sonic Detour. I don't know them. Ready. I haven't heard of them. Ten seconds left. Down to five seconds. Increased surveillance on bombs. Op four has a diffuser. How familiar are you with beatboxing? Very. Favorite survival game? I don't really like survival games if I'm being honest with you, brother. I don't know what my favorite would be. Maybe Rust? Because I really enjoyed the, the private server and making my maze. I heard the big footsteps. I thought it was to the other side. You gotta get those IEMs working. I thought he went down to the bottom. There's a prime Hank. Metallica. I think they're the, probably one of the more uninteresting bands. I, I haven't liked Metallica in a long time. You need to use your drone to locate oh, a yeah, There's a new Fantastic Four movie, huh? Six is the COD killer. Absolutely not. People I like COD are not going to overlap with people I like Rainbow Six that much. But Siege is doing just fine. Siege is doing really well. Doesn't need to be the COD killer.
Squad ready. Shot one of those. Reloading. Whoa. I can fucking taste these shots. Oh. waiting because I know someone's going to peek their little curious noggin right here. No shot. Wait, what? That's through the reinforced wall. What the fuck? Bunch of fucking baloney that was. Friendly last operator stand. We have been eliminated. Man, that one guy on that squad is carrying hard. Ugh. I'm not a huge fan of them either, though, Horsemen. I've only heard a couple... Uh, a couple songs but wasn't really feeling them you need to use your drone to locate a bomb well this isn't looking promising You think, Dan? That's definitely possible. Ten seconds before insertion. Five seconds. Be advised your drone has located a bomb. Proceed to bomb location and defuse it. Which one am I on right now? Is this... This is the bouncing one. to aggressively push in an unconventional manner. What are the ways to get to the basement? There's stairs. Is it this one? This goes, yeah, this goes down to the basement. This is just alibi.
wait a minute. Oh, did that not... that didn't bust that. I really want to push that, but I'm just gonna go to a different spot. Where's the hatch? Oh, here it is. Who's got the fuser? Damn, we fucking slapped them going in there like that. Jesus, fucking ran them over. We did nothing the entire round until the last 15 seconds. All that for the 50 gifted. Oh, I didn't even see that come up. Thank you. Appreciate the 50 gifted members. Fuck yeah. I appreciate that. And no, I don't think you should do that, trash mouth. <clears throat> yeah, no, I was deep into that round. I didn't even see that shit come up. I was so focused. You need to use your drone to locate a bomb. Can you explain why so many people still like Siege? Is it that unique? There's definitely no other games really like Siege. Uh, it is that unique. It's very different. It's fun. I like it a lot. It is a legitimately very fun game. I saw ne Necrogoblicon live in concert once. They're pretty good. You see, Jonathan Nolan wants to put Aaron Paul in the next Fallout season. Ten seconds before Doesn't bother me. He should put me in the next Fallout season. Five seconds before insertion. Proceed to bomb's location and defuse it. Market detected. Typo negative is good, yeah. Where's this go? Oh. Thanks to the membership garage. How did I miss that? Shot, pussy. I 
think he's still there. One op four remaining. Okay. He was not where I thought he was. We could hear him the whole time. Well, whatever. I couldn't. Rank. I got a gold five. Your Grim pinged him? No, I pinged the guy who was uh, in the corner in the other room, didn't it? At least I thought I did. Maybe I misread it. Protect the bombs. <laughs> Deploying mobile cover. That's going to get somebody one day. Just dropping in off hatch, not looking down. Ten seconds remain. Ooh, actually. It's gonna get him right Five here. Seconds and counting. Op four has located a bomb. Plan your Watch that. accordingly. Bomb located by op four. That's gonna get somebody. Reloaded. Shit. I need to get out. I need to roam. I was too focused on my trap positions. Pardon, pardon, pardon. I'm already late. I'm already late. Ooh, scary. He's low. I thought he was behind the pool table. Fuck, I shouldn't have challenged that. He missed all of those shots. Damn, that was stupid. I shouldn't have challenged. I could have just played it slow. Two of them are low. Traps are gonna pop off though, I fucking feel it. I think there's one here. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Don't worry, so I got traps up. They'll help. If one of them decides to go this way, he's fucked. I'm telling you. I don't remember where my third trap was, though. I already forgot. Oh, it was under hatch. One of them's hurt. I heard it. Nice. And then the other one's very hurt from door early. The other one's the guy from door, I'm pretty sure. Did you see Chase Bank is selling? Oh, uh, nice shot. Yeah, that was the guy through door that was low. Located a diffuser. Destroy it. One friendly operator remaining. Come on, baby. Whose toes are those? Come on, Grandma. I like it. Oh, that missed? Okay, that's baloney. I can't believe that missed. That looked good. Shame.
That's so sad, I thought he had it. Oh. There's a membership stranger. This is the tier one need command. To a bomb. God, the last like six games I've played have gone to overtime. It makes it take so long. So they give sub command. Ten seconds. Insertion in five seconds. You've located a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Oh, Jesus. I thought that was open for a second. I think. Does that not? Okay, I guess not. Come on, I'm set. There's three in that room. Ouch. Okay. I really want to push a different angle here, but I'm already kind of deep. You know what? I am going to push it. I'm going to go this way. The diffuser is no longer in your possession. The diffuser has been recovered. You have dropped the diffuser. the drone bait. He's low. Oh no, 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 no. He ran through sight. Fuck, I, I thought he was going to stay there. He ran around. That was smart. Thanks for me. Come on, boys. Ten seconds left. Oh Down no. Unfriendly. You gotta push him. You don't have the fuser. You gotta push him. Brother, why? You're out of time. There's a tier one, Danny. Not looking. What the fuck? What just happened there?
That was odd. Hey, right, we're still gold at least. Still gold. Now my aim was looking good though, for the most part there. That was a pretty decent game one. Hopefully that's just some kind of terrible meme that you're making Xylence and not real, because that is awful. Thanks to tier one Trev. What's the setting to throw drone without going into it right away? That would have made my bait even stronger. I would have been able to move faster. Maybe that would have helped more. What's it called? Oh, drone after prep. Oh wait, no, that's not it. Is it drone after prep? I think it's not that I don't think that's it. It's re sub evil. Mm. Well, where is it? I don't know what controls advanced drone. Is it Prime Plethora? Is it here? No. You missed it like three times. Where? Is it drone deployment? Oh. It's got to be this then. Okay. I thought it was like in the advanced settings. You need to use your drone to locate a bomb. I do not know this map very well. That's okay. Ten seconds before insertion. There's Prime Shark. Five seconds to insertion. You must locate and defuse a bomb. Oh, I forgot to choose my op. That's alright. This is the op I wanted anyway. I'm playing fast. Here I come. Wait, it still went immediately. Oh, okay. okay, that was interesting. Last 
where you're standing. Oh, okay. Op four eliminated. Thanks to the gift sub command. That'll work. So why did I still instantly go into drone after throwing it, even though I turned on advanced? You didn't hit apply. Yeah, I did. It's still there. Thanks for membership, Skittles. <coughs> I don't know if I'll read the comics. We'll see. And thanks, Noth. You'll find someone better, Noth. I believe. We need to locate a bomb. I already talked about that, Greg. That's for controller. Oh. Didn't realize there was two different settings there. Team's pushing fast, I like that. You must recover the diffuser. The diffuser is Drone active. Bomb has been located. I don't know what I'm getting hit by. Just going in. See, something. Sometimes just playing really fast is great here. Thanks for a long time, no seek. I don't know what the fuck was hitting me, I don't know that gadget. But that worked really well. That was the maestro cam, it shoots. Okay. He's a prime teller. It's an evil eye camera that can open and shoot lasers. If you shoot it while it's open, it breaks it. Okay. Thanks, Colin. How do we get down to garage? There we go. Ten seconds. Or melee glass to shatter. Five seconds before insertion. You must locate and defuse a bomb. Looks 
like we're all going in here. I'm about it. I doubt he's coming up here, right? That wouldn't make any sense. Okay. The diffuser is now secured. Hold on, hold on. I'll open up down here. God damn it, I wasn't looking. Fuck. I should have just stayed over there. Is there other ways? Oh, fuck. Uh I don't I don't know other ways to get there. Last operator standing. We have been eliminated. Yeah, I just don't know the map well enough. I would have wrapped around to another angle. I just don't know where. I don't know the map. Well, thanks, Colin. There's a hatch up top. Okay, I'll look for that next time. No, 4v5. Wait, how long has it been a 4v5? This is a, okay, this is the first round is a 4v5. Oh my god, why? Protect the bombs. Ready for company. Benches ready and waiting. Setting up. Benchy is going. Down to ten seconds. Reloading. Five seconds. Holy shit, where am I? I've never seen this area on this map. Okay. I'm just gonna hang out here, I think, because I know that's a spot to enter. Oh, Grandma's toes is here as well. A bomb has been located by Op 4. Where am I? Oh yeah, I forgot we're at a 4v5, I probably shouldn't be roaming. Oh, this leads to garage. Op 4 has deployed a diffuser, you need to yeah. destroy it. Fire in time. Shame. Yeah, this is gonna be really hard. Located the diffuser. Destroy it. Friendly last operator. Standing. Thanks, resub divot. Ugh. Mission failed. All friendlies were eliminated. This was such an easy game to win too, and then he left.
Amazon Prime Full Metal. You know, like Attack on Titan? I love Attack on Titan. I really hope he comes back. That'd be very, very nice. Op four has located a bomb. Be ready for assault. He's back. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. He can't get in this round though, can he? he has to wait. Okay, so this will be another 4v5 round. 10 seconds to insertion. 5 seconds and counting. Op 4 has located a bomb. Be ready for hostile action. I heard a drone somewhere, probably in there, but it doesn't matter, I gotta stay on site. Plus I'm playing Rook, I'm not gonna roam. Alley. I like the nitro idea. Oh, TK Cali, okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess they're. Not not enjoying each other's company. Kind of fucking them behind me. Ugh, don't worry, I'm locking it down. I mean, there's only. Nice. Four eliminated. I think I had a big round. You see Devin Laird about to compete for number one in the world versus a guy who tore his bicep. Devin's bicep last time they arm wrestled. Oh yeah, when is that? It's it's soon, right? I'm just going to play Rook again, play it safe, just in case this guy DCs again. Mm. Protect the bombs. Twentieth. Okay, nice. That is pretty soon. I feel like blowing this hatch is a good idea. 
but I won't. I'm just gonna play all natural. Down to 10 seconds. Though I don't really know this site very well on defense, I don't know where to play. Bomb location secure. I want to roam, but we're just gonna play very safe, I guess, maybe, is the, is the way to do this. that shot come from? I don't know all the entries here. I know there's one there. That leads to hallway. Op 4 has located a bomb. You know what to do. I think this connects, right? Impact out. Ooh, appreciate that. Thank you, spacing. Appreciate the generosity. This, I, okay. This is, okay. Yikes. I don't know where I am. I thought, okay. This was stupid. I don't know the map. I thought there were stairs here. Oh, holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, there are stairs here. It's just further away than I thought. There's a door there! What the fuck? Thank you, Sub Fukuro. I think I turned around and shot at the stairs for no reason. Nice. He's so low. Someone. Oh. Mission failed. All friendlies were eliminated. That was the same guy that pre fired me on a flank. He may be in stream. I don't know. It doesn't matter either way. I shouldn't have tried to, like, wrap around not knowing the map. I thought there were stairs right there. Ooh, thanks for 10 gift subs, Hans. Appreciate it, man. Nah, was the rookie would have heard where you were. The bombs. That's true. Rookie is super loud. That's probably what it is. I really should have just stayed on site. Feed up and running. So. Ten seconds. Down to five seconds. Bomb location secure. Might be the first time I've ever seen anyone go that way. If they do, that is. Op 4 has located a bomb. You know what to do. I'll just 
just hold this for now. There's a hatch here, right? Oh, it's right there! What the fuck? Oh my god! Help! I'm- I'm so lost on this map. I'll put that there in case they drop through hatch. That guy could have absolutely fucked me if he was just looking down hatch. That was a little frightening. Mission successful. Had to lock in. Oh, appreciate another big drop space. Thank you for that. Alright, come on boys. Let's close them out. Let's weed them out. Man, I gotta pee real bad too, so if we can just fucking steamroll here, that'd be great. <clears throat> my aim's good tonight, though. Last time my aim was dog shit, tonight my aim's good. Let's just close out one of these games. Go pee this drone phase. No, my piss takes longer than 40 seconds. I'll be late. Ship that dude. Five seconds. Come locate and defuse a bomb. Not super thrilled about going in this way. I'm down to going down here. Oh my god, I want to push fast, I gotta pee. Replicator 
Oh, wow. That guy really fucking went for it. Damn, I did not I did not expect that. Four last operator standing. Close it out, boys. That was a fucking wacky push. The diffuser is now secured. You must recover the diffuser. Nice, huge. Way to clutch up. Whew. Don't forget to utilize claymores. I keep forgetting to use them. Well, a claymore there wouldn't have done much for me, but yeah. That was good. This guy went kind of crazy in that. That man just, he dropped 12 on him. Alright, I'll just let this ride for a second while I pee. I'll be right back. back yeah I'll invite goat coo we'll get a little stack cooking nope that didn't work wasn't it this oh yeah it is how do I just invite get me in are you on Dankin what's your name in here Dankin you gold five launching now give me three years for this game to actually launch ain't that the fucking truth Yeah, we watched the new Atlas video from Boston Dynamics. Dangin' carry time. Hey, man, I feel like I'll be carrying. I'm, like, Rainbow Six, like, I, I've been popping. I had a bad set of games yesterday, but today we're looking good. Today we're looking good. And congrats on getting a house, Zachary. That's great. Thanks, Grim. Do you actually drink gamer subs? I do. I actually like it quite a bit. I've been really into lean. So right now I'd say it's probably my favorite flavor. You started to ace main now? Ace. I've been working on Grim. Deimos. 
Those are really my main attackers. Thanks, Resub Godly. Thanks for the membership, Kitty. And thanks for the Prime, Owen. Silver 5! <laughs> Goat Koo, oh yeah. How can I invite him without... Adding, or do I have to? I mean, it doesn't matter either way, I guess. I have heard of Pacific Drive. Thanks, B-Man. You are a carried gold? Why are you just, like, the most negative person ever? I recognize your name because all you say is the most negative shit ever. For, like, actual years. I solo queued my entire way to gold up until the last couple of days where I duoed with still no comms. Why are you just like li perpetually miserable, Rin? It's Resub Stein. Membership Rexus and the Prime Panda. I don't know if he's in a game or not. I think he I think he is, let me see. We'll just go th yeah, he's in a game. Or no, wait. It said he was a second ago. But if not, we'll just run 3. This will be the second time actually queuing up with a squad. There's membership 2 Mew. Remember Quantum of Solace PvP? People look at me weird when I say that. That was peak multiplayer. Are you talking about the Quantum of Solace game for Xbox 360? I never played the mu the multiplayer in that. And now I haven't started Three Body Problem. Okay. Yeah, I think he's in-game. Hey, hopefully at some point, B-Man. We'll see. You on Discord, Denkin? We'll run comms. This will be my second time playing ranked with comms. This is Prime Almond. The Prime Kabobo. Do you like to play Mav? Haven't played Mav. When are you going to stream chess versus Biden? Whenever Sleepy Joe wants, I'll take him over the board. Fucking feed that man his ice cream. 
I'll give him that scholar's mate. He'll never see it coming. I have not played Castle yet. I've played Mute once. I appreciate it. Thanks, Plux. Yeah, I'm trying to make a push for plat. So now we're actually queuing. Well, not, I'm, I've been queuing. I mean, like, now we're actually playing with people. Squatting up. And maybe I'll stream it, Socks. We'll see. I hope it gets fixed drills. When the next Kali gameplay. I have not played Kali in a while. It has been a minute since I played Kali. Thanks for your sub Morbin. I know this map somewhat should be able to roam. Try Fenrir. Oh yeah, Fenrir is open. Oh no, he's not. Oh, no, 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 wait, someone already has him. Have you seen Cairo or the Wailing? The area. Keep the bombs no, protected. I don't know what that is. God damn it! Deploying mobile cover. I think zero percent chance anyone comes through that. Top four has located a bomb. Plan we'll your defenses accordingly. This maybe. And I'm just gonna roll downstairs. Down to five seconds. Top four has located a bomb. Get ready to engage. There is an entry there, right? Like, I'm not a fucking idiot. I'm pretty sure there is. Someone got my trap. I think that guy knew. Must have been droned. Wonder what trap got that guy. Damn, they can kind of fucking him. Oh boy. Op four, last operator standing. I don't really want 
hunt this guy down. Friendly is victorious. Hostiles eliminated. Nice. Thanks, the resub. Okay, that's a fucked up name. But thanks to the resub. Rank is gold five. Thanks for the five, then. Cool message, I guess. Thanks to Resub Narwolf. Protect the bombs. Impact. No, D Dankin's not on comms. Reload. Thanks, to Resub Lucas. I thought there was a entry over here. Oh yeah, there is. It's right here. What the fuck is going on? Welcome back deployed. Ten seconds to insertion. Throwing a drag mine. Down to five seconds. Op four located a bomb. Protect it. Op four has located a bomb. I hope they don't come right there. That'd make me real sad. Right, I'm out. Bye bye. Oh god. I can't believe he survived that. Actually, one HP. Thanks, membership finish. True, Samuel. That is big. Ooh, I like this. He's planting. Op 4 has placed a diffuser near a bomb. Destroy it. It is interesting, David. That is true. Oh, you looked at him and then changed to the drone. Oh no. That was so free. Located a diffuser. Destroy it. Probably nephew, and that's fine. He's a real stand-up guy. Is what it is, oh boss. Charlie begging for subs for his dog shit comic. What fantasy world are you living in? Who's begging for subs? Where are you where are you reading or listening to things, huh? What are you talking about, brother? How old are you, actually, oh boss? And are you diagnosed with any, like, schizophrenia or anything like that? You can be honest here. Because you are in some kind of fantasy land right now. When did I even bring up my comics? And when have I ever begged for subs? Secure the area. Keep the bombs protected.
shield. Be advised, a bomb location has been compromised. That's not mine going oh. out. Loading new magazine! One of these is gonna hit someone. Ten seconds to insertion. Down to five seconds. Bro talk shit to get attention. I mean, he paid for it. He's welcome to, I guess. I probably missed what you said, Oba, so put it on the back of another one of your mom's $5 bills. These guys are not talking to each other. Your location has been compromised. <sighs> oh, we already get. Oh man, he got in. I thought he shot at me from the window. Oh. Holy fuck, scared! I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much for the generosity, brother. Hope you're having a good night. Fat drop. I think it's a prime mamba. This comic is shit, plain and simple. Brother, it's fine to not like it. You paid to talk shit. And that's okay too. One Tell rating. me two characters in it though. I'm curious. I feel like there's no way you've read it. And put five dollars on it and then I'll look at it again. And don't worry, it's almost summer vacation so you stop getting swirlies from all the bullies at the middle school lunch tables. You have things to look forward to. Thanks to Prime Madison. I might play No Rest for the Wicked, we'll see. I just don't really like ARPGs. There's a Prime Brian. Taking you an awful long All time to Google some names, AO boss. Do you still play Deimos? I haven't in a little bit. I've been mainly playing Ace and Grim. I haven't played a lot of Deimos recently. We need to locate a bomb. Your drone has located a bomb. Thank you, Brian Keiko. Appreciate it, Caleb. And Prime Surge. Appreciate it, indecisive. Hope you're having a good night. And 
this is clear. Kind of want to breach. Good. Damn, I just looked the other way. Fuck. I should have just pushed much faster. Uh, we're falling apart. I'm falling apart. You've got this. Get after him, champ. <laughs> I love the Arkham series. You know where one of them is. Now you know where the other one is. I think it was the other guy that went out. This is all you, brother. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds. Op four eliminated all friendlies. He's a prime Lero. Hmm. <laughs> one more time, I guess. I don't know. Thanks, Resub Carney. And thanks, Gilbert. And thanks, Resub Halls. Your drone to locate a bomb. Insertion. Prime Rooney. You watch Edge Runners? Great, great show. Yep. Insertion Love Edge Runners. Seconds. You must locate and defuse the bomb. Oh fuck! I had just thrown drone. Luckily this guy's aim is bad. 
He was doorway, right? I'm pretty sure. I hear a lot of rustling. Ping this guy. Is that not breakable? Setting cell mark. Wait, 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 that's not where I thought that went. Wait, no, 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 give, give it back, give it back. Fuck. What a waste. Big shots. Is this not a site? Oh my god, I thought this was a site to plant. Bomb has been located. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think we swing together here, brother. seen how bad Ubisoft support has been recently? Mm, with this game or in general? Because Ubisoft has been dog shit for a little while now. I'm not sure. I didn't see it, Vampiric. Emma Roberts is mid. I always liked Emma Roberts, and then I read something that she's like a domestic abuser or something. That made me real sad. I didn't really look into it super deep, but apparently her and Evan Peters had a bunch of cases. We need to locate a bomb. I loved her and we're the Millers. I've liked her in everything she's been in. I think she's a really good actress. Oh shit! You don't hit these. Be advised your drone has located a bomb. Insertion in 10 seconds. 5 seconds to go. Proceed to bomb's location and defuse it. I could get there fast enough. What a fucking throw. He must have heard me. Ugh. I thought I could just fucking Zerg rush it. Thanks, resub puff.
I am. No. Friendly oh god. Thinking this is what you've been training for. Nice, you saw him. Oh my god. Oh my god, get outside, get outside, get outside. Oh shit. Yes! Oh, fucking huge! Come on, baby, the dank indifference. All you gotta do is just listen for diffusing. What a clutch. What a fucking round from Dankin. Have you heard the creators of Poppy's Playhouse created a content farming channel called Elsagate Content for Children? Nope, can't say I did hear about that. That's news to me. Alright. Dankin saved us there. That was big. He bailed us out. I fucking threw at the beginning of that round. What happened to the Finger Family content farm song? I don't know. I don't remember what happened with the Finger Family rabbit hole. And I'm not having a very good game. Five seconds. <laughs> I gotta lock in. You've located a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Suitcase. What a fucking shot! Wow! Oh, I already threw my drone. 
Hold on, I'm planting the fuser, Duncan. Just cover me. Let's play it safe. Okay. If we don't win this, I'm going to be so fucking sad. That nitro, that fucking hurts. That a boy. Damn, Dankin's having a game. Friendly mission successful. Let's let's just play safe. We're, we're gonna play main. I just haven't done one in a little while, Irony. That's all. It's tough to set them up. Where do you make a rotate on this one? Where do I want the rotate? Here? Or do you make f feet here? I don't, I don't remember. Probably not this one, because that opens up a sight line. No, you don't want to rotate here? Okay. Here's open. Uh, I don't know where to play. Okay, play up. Oh. Oh, what did I just blow up? Such a dog shit spot right now. Yeah, this is this is bad. Oh my god. Friendly remaining. I didn't kill him? God, what? Friendlies were eliminated. Please resubmit I thought he died. Okay, all comes down to this. good start to this game and it's been all downhill ever since. That's sweet things, David. We need 
need to locate mm. a bomb. found a bomb. Please membership screen. Yeah, I just heard. Ten seconds before insertion. I heard that he put me on there. Insertion in five seconds. Bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. All right. Need a big one. I was aiming too low, but he's hurt. Changing mics. Side. God, two of them are so low. Oh. Get ready for the breach. Didn't see that. Almost out of ammo. Did he cross? I think he crossed. Man, I'm missing headshots. This is the worst time for that to be happening. What? Oh no, 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 no. I tried to help my friend out and it got me killed. Oh god. What a terrible time. No, no, no. You're out of time. I tried to open that up for him. God damn it. Two of them were so fucking low too. Should not have lost that, should not have lost that. Man, if I had just hit those two headshots instead of on the chest, that would have been it. That would have been it. That was my first bad game of the night.
Okay, I really need to play faster. That's what I do the best. I'm playing way too slow. I just got in my own head after the, what was it, the third round? Well, it was good. I thought it was very good. Yeah, I'm gonna do Osa here. Osa works well for me on this map. Thanks for the gifted member, Korean. Alright, let's go back to roaming. Thanks, it gets so weird. Thanks, Oddish. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds. You must protect your bombs. Oh, lucky timing. down here but I'm coming anyway I think I heard it break right above me op 4 found a bomb you must defend it I'm taking unusual positions here There's a membership goat coup. Appreciate that, man. And good game earlier. I think they're all up top. One of them might try to reposition, though. Got one. One op four remaining. Damn, fucking op slammed them up here. Mission successful. Maybe just this at some point. That would be pretty fun. 
Yeah, they all stayed up top. No one went down low. Or, uh, first floor. Maybe goat. We'll see. I'm getting kind of hungry, but we'll see if I play another. I'd be down though. Thanks, membership, Daniel. This is so stupid, but I want to see if this will work. Imagine. Just imagine. I'm trying only stupid spots in this one. Only the dumbest spots. Let's see. Shit. Be advised, Op Four has located a bomb. I don't know the entries here. Actually, I'm not. I'm not gonna run here. I don't know. I'm on the other side. Assuming there's a hatch there, is that what that was? Damn. Unlucky Doki B. Op for last stop standing. Thanks to tier one, Nick Young. I know this side. Oh wait, no, wait. This is not the side I thought it was. I do not know this side. Oh well. We'll see how she goes. Down to ten seconds. Oh my god, there's four entries here. I don't think I've ever played this site. Where are we? What kind of place is this? Okay, I'm just gonna fucking roam deep into the areas I know. Oh, wait, we're in the same spot. Yikes. Okay, that'll do it.
So even on our team? I've still got my traps. Maybe I can be useful. Okay, I'm just gonna red ping this guy. I don't think anyone's looking at the normal pings. Oh boy. There is no way that guy should have got two kills there. Friendly, last operator standing. You hear him planting? The bomb. Yeah. You need to disable their diffuser. Thanks, resub DK. Op Ooh, four, nice. last operator standing. I got no no cams for you. Oh, how'd that miss? Oh, it didn't. Diffuser located. Protect the bombs and disable the diffuser. What a clutch. Bomb diffusing devices disabled. Mission successful. That was big. That was a big clutch. All right. Now I get some OSA action here. Thanks, Risa Walry. <coughs> yeah, I'll be doing Gears Judgment. We need to locate a bomb. What the fuck? Where is this? Ten seconds to go. Five seconds to go. All right, let's get the ground. Oh, son of a bitch! I don't want to talk about it. Don't you ever try that again! Oh, it's the same guy from last game. didn't reach. Getting a 
Oh. Oh. Just barely missed that. Oh, we're getting slammed even though I got an early pick. I never lose that fight. <laughs> I legit never lose this kind of fight. I really just want to push in. It is me and Toes here, and no one else is going to challenge me here. But I missed my drone, so I can't drone. Oh, wait. No way. You're gonna challenge this? <laughs> Why are they challenging? That's fire. Here, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I don't lose those. Easy 4-0. 4k, finish it. I don't know why they kept challenging me at window, but I will take it. Bro refuses to plant. Brother, what are you talking about? It was a 2v4. When would I have ever had a chance to plant? And in that situation right there, I would have been clapped on. His grandma toes got picked. There was no chance to plant. That was a big one. I needed that. I needed that dub. Yeah, I don't know. They just kept running at me. Giving me some free kills at that Osa window right there. Alright, that's a good game to finish off on. I'm too hungry. Good games. Dankin popped. Toes popped. And then it, I had three out of four good games. Went up a little RP, not much, but a little bit. Thanks for your subrex. All right, I'm going to bed. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate the generosity. Have a wonderful rest of your evening, everybody. Bye-bye.